recording right now and we're on good welcome everybody out so tonight's topic is literal language of the body or um reading what do we call it language. reading body language and um we had a little bit of a um, discussion on this topic a little while ago but we didn't quite get done with that and we wanted okay. to in include that here and and be able to go you know do some more exploration. Yeah, we want to just talk about it some more. And we have some new people here um, tonight, so this is going to be new for you. Um, I just like to talk to you guys, um, people in the audience. Uh, what do you know about the literal language of the body? Um, is it is it new to some of you? Um, is it strange? I want to hear what you think. Tara? <laughs> Let me just give a little bit of an yeah. explanation um, yeah. exactly what, what she means by literal language of the body. So sometimes when your body hurts, so for instance, your neck hurts, um, is because you're stubborn. Um, and you know, when people say, oh, you have a, he's a pain in the neck, it just means that he's stubborn. But sometimes, literally, um, you get a pain in the neck it's because you can't turn your head from top side to side you're 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 stubborn you're, you're thinking just one Away. one direction mm -hmm. and, and um and somehow it's linked um that stubbornness or that um some sort of emotional um root that you have is manifesting itself like in in your neck and so um other things like if your knees hurt you're not um you're not uh able to kneel or, or yeah. not very flexible so having given a little bit of a background on that um has anybody had any experience with reading your ailments from your the body the, the language that your body has given you i can tell you that anything that jade has ever explained to me and even just looking at this little picture of a person where it said like arm this knee that like it was always accurate even like i just would show the kids or jason and be like do you think this you know is that the thing and it was yes that picture right there the little language of your body it, it was true to us even if we didn't think it was then we started to think about it and it was like inflexible not willing to bend like you know follow these things and it's going to help you but we wanted to do it our own way or stiff neckedness like we we had a few of these things and after we were able to look back and be like well i can see how i was not open to looking this way trying this and it was it was accurate so now i keep on looking at why this could be happening because it might be our body telling us something that we're not willing to hear that's right. Okay, what about your journey? I know a few of you started off um, uh, maybe last year and uh, you started learning about this and it's, it's changed you. Anybody want to share? I know when like I've been helping people, um, probably one of like the most influential books that I've been using is Jade, the um, Feelings Al Buried Alive Never Die. And I think just like at the most simple level, like really explaining to people that um, like everything is like matter and has energy. So if your body is giving you a symptom that's manifesting itself in a physical way, then there's um, obviously like an emotion that's attached to that. So God gave us these bodies um, and it's, it's a machine for lack of a better word. So when something is broken, it's just like check engine light, like, hey, fix me. Um, and then you can go in there and get to that root cause, which everything starts in the mind. So I don't know. That's like kind of a way that a lot of people are like, oh, wait, that makes total sense. Yeah. And I know for me that like fear versus faith and going back to the mind, what you like taught me first off was really the game changer for me. Yeah. Awesome, Megan. I, I've noticed that in a lot of people, once you get the idea, then you, you can just run off with it. You don't need to be taught anymore. You know, you, you get the pattern. So um, I just want to share with people what I discovered. So when, you know, we live in the, in this society where, um, you know, you go to the doctors and they just fix symptoms and that's what you're taught 
but we're way back, you know, in lots of different cultures, not just ours here. Um, people were used to reading the literal language of the body. They were used to it. And, um, you know, we have sayings still, uh, you know, that, that kind of relates to how it used to be in the past. Like Ben said, stiff necked. Cold um, feet. You know, cold feet, yeah, pain in the neck. Um, yeah, you, you know, you're not backing me up. You know, that's the back, right? Things like that. And it's just residual from that. But what we want to do is to help reintroduce this because this is powerful. Um, but the best thing about it is it helps you reconnect to who you really are. And who you really are is a child of God. So I want to tell you that I truly believe after helping all the people that I've helped, helping myself heal, helping my family heal, it just comes down to understanding that you are not sick and in pain and got disease for no apparent reason. It's just fluke, you're broken. That's never the case. So, you know, when you have something, I mean, sometimes it's hard to kind of figure it out at first. And sometimes you need to look back and retrospect, like what Stacey was saying. Yeah, I look back and, oh, this is what was going to happen. But when you were in the moment, you're thinking, ah, you know, you're just using the oils and, you know, just almost accidentally got yourself better. Um, but you just remember that's the paradigm that we're operating from, okay, that, you know, all sicknesses, pains and diseases is um, there's a reason for it. And basically it's like an energy imbalance. Okay. When we're balanced, we are happy. We are healthy. And when we're, and we want to be happy and healthy because we're going um, along that journey um, and we are on the right track. That's how we gauge. So I was telling my daughters that um, I said, what if you were to go through school, take all the tests, learn all the lessons, hand in all the homework without any feedback, without your teacher telling you how great you're doing? And one of my daughters was like, ah, that would just be frustrating. And I said, and then the end of the year, they'll tell you how, how you did. You know, and then you think, ah, oh, that'll be just stressful because you don't know, you never know. And I said, life is like, is, is not like that. We think it is, but it isn't. You are given feedback right away, right away, right away. So you know, you know that we're, how you're going, okay? So check that happy meter. If you're not quite happy, something is off. Something's not balanced. If you're in a little bit of a pain it's here, there, something is quite off, okay? And it, it doesn't matter. I, I eat healthy. I do these, all these things, check the boxes physically. But if you are not changing inside, then you're not really changing. Okay. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Okay. So you ask yourself simply, what is it that I need to change? And so we have this book. Um, like Megan was saying, it's feelings buried alive, never die. And it just, it, there's a reference, it's just a whole bunch of list of organs and health problems and emotions that are attached to it. Um, and, uh, you know, if you think about it, um, you, when you look at the body and the, the different, <clears throat> the different um, functions of the body, it'll give you more clues. So like the knees, the function for the knee is to bend, right? So am I bending? Am I flexible? <clears throat> the function of the eyebrow, I don't know what it is, but in my mind, it's about wisdom, <laughs> you know? <laughs> and so it's something here, pain, you got that? So I'll just go through this and There's here. also Louise Hayes' book, um, mm -hmm. You Can Heal, you can your, heal life. your Life. She's got an index in there mm -hmm. as well. Yep. Guys, you're welcome to jump in and discuss, um, make comments, okay? Does anybody want to say anything at this point? Okay, comments? Okay. okay. I'm interested on that, the fat storage, actually. That's kind of interesting to me. Mm -hmm. I feel a need for protection. Uh-huh. <clears throat> yeah, that's uh, one way. Yeah, I've really experienced that lately. That's kind of an interesting thought. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, and feeling unsafe. And I'll tell you the secret to all of it <laughs> later on. Uh, we'll go through this for people that haven't experienced this before. So we'll start with the feet, uh, feet, uh, feet problems, fear of the future, fear of moving into the future. Okay, anything to do with moving forward into the future. And you can call it whatever you want, whatever disease you want, according to the group of symptoms. 
um, that try to uh, resolve the emotion of the feet and you'll find that whatever the problem is, it, it will be alleviated um, quite a bit. Mm. Okay, so we're moving up to the fat. Okay, fat, you feel a need for protection. And yeah, so when you stress, what happens? Cortisol, right, hormone, and you build, um, you pack on the weight, you, you pack on the fat, right? And why were you stressed in the first place? What was the root of it? The root of it is always fear, okay? Feeling not safe, feeling worried that this bad thing will happen to us, to me, to our family, to our future, okay? I've met quite a few people that, um, that have that. And once you relax more and feel more safe, you can, and, and you know, people, I teach them to sleep, to sleep more, to sleep through the night. Then they, they start losing weight just by sleeping more, you know, instead of exercising more or eating more organic or healthy. Isn't that funny? Yeah. Okay, so we can move on to the hips, okay, and that's fear of making major decisions. Okay, fear of hip problems change. That left arm is not receiving enough for self, but this is a spiritual thing. Okay, so not receiving enough, so not um, taking good care of yourself. And that's the left arm. Shoulders, um, bearing burdens that don't belong to you. Okay, a lot of mums have this problem because we bear um, the responsibility. We feel like it's our fault. If our kids are unhappy, we feel it's our fault. Um, when people are not well sometimes, anything that happens, sometimes we, we throw that responsibility back on our own shoulders, wanting to carry it for people, wanting to fix it for them. Um, and there's a time when we have to let it go. We have to let them struggle a little bit. And you will know uh, because your neck and shoulders will, will tell you, okay? When you've, um, you know, not balanced, when you've gone too far. All right, and head, impatient with self, holding on to limitations. Um, and that goes for the headaches, okay? Holding on to limitations. Oh, I've got too many jo jobs to do, you know, the headache. Oh, um, you know, I just can't think. I'm so stressed. I'm thinking too hard, too much. Okay, that's the head. All right, and over to the neck, inflexible state of mind. So that makes sense. What am I not seeing? Um, you know, the best thing is to. Um, Another way of saying stubborn. Yeah, the best thing is just to look at what your family and friends are, are telling you okay? and, and what, what kind of hits you and presses your buttons because then it helps you maybe you consider it that way may or may not be but uh, try that and right arm is about not giving enough to self and in a physical way okay and elbow is inability to accept new experiences because that's a, a way of bending okay um, knees is inflexibility and stubbornness and ankle is about guilt and fear of failing. Um, so my sister shared a story. She said she, she had mum babysit because her kids are very little still and she went out and uh, she did a doTERRA oil class and she was gone for a long time, more than she she's done in the past so i think it was three four hours and um she said when she left that house uh, and uh, was about to get into the car to drive home she said it was funny because she stepped down funny and her ankles um she just went down on her ankles and her ankles really hurt and she said it just hurt all the whole way home and i said to her did you feel guilty and she started laughing because she said i did i did i felt guilty because i left my kids Right, and um, so that's just really interesting. And uh, your body tells you, you know, that, that you shouldn't feel that way, okay? Um, it, it was just too much. 
it's not that you are um, not allowed to feel that. Sometimes you are supposed to carry certain burdens, but when you carry too much, your body will tell you. Your body's a gauge. Um, like uh, Megan said, you know, your, your physical body will manifest everything that is in the spirit and in the emotion. Okay, any questions, guys, comments? I want to hear from you. I think everybody's muted. Okay. Do you have anything you want to add, you can unmute yourself. Otherwise, keep going, I guess. Okay. So I want to do something a little bit different. So this here is the body system chart. Okay, you can buy this online. But when people tell me about a certain health problem, and they, they give me a particular name. And sometimes it's like a brand new name, a fancy word that I think, I don't know. I don't even know how to say that. Um, so I look it up and I find what body system it is or body part it affects. And that makes it so much easier for me to help people. Okay, I don't need to be a health expert to tell them. <clears throat> and so, you know, this here, this chart helps you see which oils will be good for which system. I know you can't see it, um, but uh, this is one way to, to help you. Um, and if you have a reference book, you can look it up. Look at the, um, the oils. But, you know, one very important thing is just to find out what that health problem is. Um, so I had a friend that said, oh, my one doctor said, I have gout. And then another doctor says, I have colitis. And I said, okay, um, but it's a gut problem, right? It's a gut rot problem, right? And she's like, yeah. And I said, what do we do about gut rot, right? To cleanse it out. So um, someone said to me, oh, I've got uh, lupus. And I said, oh, that's a sort of, um, you know, inflammation problem, isn't it? That's you know, fix the inflammation in our body. So you see, it's not that difficult, but when people um, just hold on to that name and they're so bent on that particular name, they, they lose the understanding that, hey, this, this affects this organ or this affects this area. And then so emotionally, I, I will heal you know, my emotion and my, my spiritual side. And then, hey, look at the physical body. Okay, this is the, the oil that helps with the physical and the emotional and the spiritual. Okay, guys, um, why don't you ask me questions? So if you have a particular friend in mind that you think, okay, I'd like to help her or him, and we'll use that as an example, perhaps. I don't have a friend, but I didn't realize I danced a long time and then I had a surgery on one of my feet. And so me and my mom just assumed that my foot hurting was because of those things. And, you know, the doctor was like, well, that makes sense. You've danced like all these years, your feet probably do feel old. But then when I looked at this, um, my family had gone through like um, a big event and it was scary for me to know what to do with me and my kids for our future. And, um, and even when I was moving along with it, we, we had made decisions and we made a literal move from Florida to Georgia. Um, things were getting better, but I was still afraid. And so when I saw that there, the feet, it says fear of future, like it made me understand because my feet have not been hurting. And yes, I've put oils on them, but I think it wasn't really that it was, I was so afraid that I was making the right decisions of moving my kids from my, our family and um, afraid for them for new schools. And like, what was I going to do? Like, I think, and now I'm comfortable. And now I know it's, you know, it's not the end of the world. Things are doing good. Um, but just reflecting on that, I realized that that was really the root. It wasn't all the damage that I've done to my feet. Your feet can, like your body can heal from any damage. So it's not bad and it's not um, surgery because you can heal from surgery. So I really think that there was just something bigger that I never had an idea to look at, you know, and I did say that we had neck, I had a neck problem and I had, my son had knees, but um, the other big thing that was always bothering me was my shoulders um, with my neck. But um, 
I went to chiropractors and things, and we always just thought it was tied in together to this car accident that I had. But I did share that, and Jade said, um, you know, because we did the move and all, was I worried about my kids and sharing a burning of making sure that they were happy here and that they were doing well and all those things. And even my kids, two counselors, they have two different counselors, and both of them said, their happiness is not your responsibility. So let that go. And then Jade said the same thing. And then she said, you know, shoulders mean that you're carrying a burden that's not really yours. You can't make people happy. You just have to do, you know, and let them fall or let them, but they will get happy. You know, they will, they will figure their little things out. We're working on stuff with them. And so it was really true. And like, um, to be free of those two things that have like bothered me for so long. It's um, like just amazing. Like, you know, you feel great, you're happier, but to see the true source of where it was really coming from is like a different kind of like healing because you're happy like in the inside and you realize like you've grown and that's what you're, you know, hoping to accomplish. So it's just a different kind of healing. So thank you for sharing that, Stacey. Sometimes when we um, blame it on, a certain thing or I, I play tennis that's why my my wrist is like this and that's it we're giving away our power we're giving away our power to choose so yeah and that that makes us uh, unable to change so we are out of time i didn't realize so um we are going to end um wait is it yeah no no we're not sorry yeah we're just 20 minutes i, I thought it was 20 minutes um over excuse me so guys you, you know we're opening up this time for you um go ahead and um ask your questions and share so jade i have a friend that had a, a surgery on her foot i don't know i can't remember why she had to have the surgery but the um she something happened with the surgery it wasn't done correctly or something she got a terrible infection she had all these problems and she's all, you know, she's been in for several different surgeries since then. They did this malpractice suit because the doctor was clearly at fault. And anyway, anyway it's been this big, long, drawn out thing. So how does that, something like that, relate to this literal language of your body? Yep. That's a good question. I will bet that her energy, the energy, the negative energy is stuck in her feet um, and it is not allowing her feet to heal properly. Mm -hmm. Yep. And there's so much negativity. Even the doctors mess up. Yeah. But if, think about who she is. Is she bright, perky? Everything goes, you know, I'm future is bright for me. She, it, she actually is. She's very, she's got tons of energy. She's, very fun and, and you know so she was always very very active and now she's not able to do everything that she used to be able to do because she can't use her foot very well or you know she gets tired so is it both feet pardon is it both feet just just the one the right one uh i can't remember okay because the right side of the body is the giving side the left side is the receiving side so sometimes still be the same thing. I mean, all that was true about me. Nobody would have ever guessed that. I mean, when you ask people, I'm happy and I was healthy and nobody would. So it still for her could be the same exact thing. And I had doctors do two different things. Um, I had a truck run over my foot. I had a cane slammed down on my foot. So we thought medically, these are all the reasons. But years later, just in this is when I realized that the true source was the fear of my future. But for yeah. years, Nobody would have guessed that I was afraid. It's like you had a negative magnet on your feet because of all of this negative energy in there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I've had yeah. a few people like that and we cleared the feet and then they were better. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I get that. Good question. Good question, Kayla. Anyone else? So a few weeks ago, I pulled my left hamstring. Mm hmm Hamstring uh, is being strung down, <laughs> right? Left side is about the nurturing side, okay? How do you understand that? How do you interpret that? Well, I, okay, say what, you, what did you say about the left string being, <laughs> being strung down? Yep, 
Yep. And left side is about your nurturing side. Well, <clears throat> I know emotionally I've been halted in dealing with a certain individual. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like it's like I gotta move forward. Yeah, yeah. And you feel like you can't move forward because you you've got this nurturing side that you think I'm not gonna go until I pull this person along. <laughs> It's my job to nurture them, right? And pull them along. <laughs> yeah, well, you don't want to be pulled along. No. Nope. Yeah. You know, it's beautiful sometimes when we get so sick that we are forced to lie down and think about it. <laughs> or stop. Can you sit? Stop. We can't walk anymore. You have to sit down now. Think about it. <laughs> um. Very good. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Anyone else? I have a question. Yep. Okay. It might be weird. But so do you guys know what cankles are? Yes. Okay. <laughs> so ever since I was like 10 years old, my uncle like, and all my family would joke about my cankles. Mm -hmm. And now like thinking about it, just like I have like extra fat. So like a need for protection around like my ankles. And I, like, grew up, I don't know, like, that, like, fear of failing, like, probably from, like, my, like, father figure and stuff like that. Like, would that be, like, why? If I just, like, get over that, will I get rid of my cankles? <laughs> Hopefully. Ask yourself, what other things are you um, worried about failing? Probably a lot. <laughs> you got them from your grandma. Right. Right. And she just commented, she just commented at the party on Saturday Looking at both of us, she said, I'm so sorry you girls got my ankles. And I'm like, what's wrong with my ankles? I don't Douglas have cankles. For, New Douglas for generation last year. Well, I don't have cankles. <laughs> it skipped a generation. I'm sorry. You should have gotten your dad's legs, but at least you didn't get his personality. So you're good. <laughs> I want Jade's input on this one. <laughs> I'm so All right. Bad. That rosemary oil will help you dig in there and find out what it is and because your cells have these memories and so your cells will help you find these memories, write it down, write it down and then things just come and then you think, oh, it, that could be that. It doesn't matter if it is or not. I'm going to write the positive change and disconnect and um, associate it with something good. Mm -hmm. Right on. So yeah. are, are all of these things printable? Uh, yes, I believe so. Yeah, just, just, go to the, just go to the website and print it. Okay. You can download these images as well. Okay. I was going to share this um, page here. This is um, from uh, the headaches uh, post that I did together. Um, sometimes, you know, like Jade was saying, you know, our bodies uh, are giving us signs of what's wrong, maybe trying to communicate to us in, in, a, in a certain way. Sometimes people choose to ignore that. They ignore the problem and the body has to talk a little bit louder. So indigestion turns to cramping and, and maybe they keep ignoring that and ignoring that and, and, it, and it gets worse, the problem gets worse. Sometimes the problem can shift from one part of the body to the other. Um, where your body's maybe calling out um, for you to deal with something. And, so, and you know, like Jay is say, saying, it's a, this um, emotional root of that thing that you just need to deal with and get out of your system. Mm -hmm. And I'll tell you the answers. The answer is always the same. The answer is faith. And the answer is always connecting to God. And once you do that, you feel enough. So you are not afraid of the future. You're not afraid of moving on. You're not afraid of letting go. And you allow yourself to go through that refining fire. And like I said, sometimes it's ugly and, it, and it's painful and um, not pretty at all. You feel awful. You feel like, you know, nothing. And you're crying and you've just, it's just a mess. 
but once you get over it and you cry it all out, you look back and you think, wow, it, what was that? <laughs> Whoa, you know, it's like you're a different person. Um, so, yeah. So that's the answer to all of it. If you look back to um, the chart, okay, if you have the future, if I say I trust in God, I'm connected to God, he will take care of my future, okay, that helps relieve it. That fear, protect, uh, fear uh, and need for protection, God protects me, okay, I'm protected, <laughs> I'm safe, okay. Um, you know, making big decisions, right, again, that's faith, right. I, I can make big, big decisions and it's going to be okay. Whichever way I go, you know, I'll figure it out. I'm bigger than my problems. Um, left hand, um, you know, not receiving enough for self spiritually. Why? Because I, you know, I fear, I fear that I don't have time. I don't, whatever. Now you give it to yourself. I do have time to, to sit down and um, feed myself spiritually. His arms, hands okay, about giving and, and holding on to things. Uh, shoulders, I release the, the need to bear other people's burdens, um, you know, in, the, in so much, uh, you know, so much so that it hurts me. If you can, you're supposed to, but you, and you have the strength to, but not that much. And your body will tell you when you've exceeded your limit, okay? And, uh, you know, you can see all of that. The answer is always the same. When I help people, it's really easy, actually, because they'll start with where they are and I'll tell them the emotion and then the resolution is always connect back to God, right? Let go of that fear. Is that easier? So have you uh, met people that say, How, you know, I don't know, I, I can't see what the emotion is, why it's linked to my physical body. So when that happens, sometimes I use an, a, um, an example, like when, you, when somebody is anxious about like a ball game. I don't know if you've experienced that. Somebody that was worried about um, going into playing the game before the game, they have to go to the bathroom, right? Uh, um, my, my, I have a few friends that um, they have to go party, you know, and they go heaps and heaps because, you know, right, it's just anxiety, it's just stress. And normally they're fine. But right before a game, they get very anxious and they have to go. Um, other people feel cramps, uh, you know, and they, you feel tension. Uh, people that worry a lot, they can have um, a lot of headaches, a lot of um, gut problems you know, stomach ulcers and things, right? So physically, if you are stressed, your physical body will, will be tense, will manifest. Does anyone else have any questions or comments? Or stories perhaps? What about, uh, I hear a lot of women talking about thyroid problems. Yeah, we hear a lot of that lately. Thyroid. So we have a few things that we do for thyroid. Um, so we, uh, thyroid is about uh, imbalance and a lot of xenoestrogens in your diet, um, you know, and not having enough fat for your body to produce the right hormones. And you think about it, it's an endocrine concern, okay, the endocrine system. Right. So you want to fix that endocrine system. But now um, thyroid, according to this, um, the feelings buried alive never die. Uh, thyroid is about conflict between the conscious and the subconscious. So remember Ben was saying that the subconscious <laughs> doesn't make sense. Sometimes it's not logical. It believes something crazy, but it just keep, holds on to that. And even though consciously you can think logically, but if you have that subconscious that is um, conflicted with you, you're not going to find, uh, you can find that you have a hard time moving forward. All right. And uh, the other emotion is lack of love for self, a fear of self-expression, deep sense of frustration, anxiety, and um, lack of discernment. 
So that's yeah. thyroid. And for the people that I know that have thyroid, I think that's spot on. Maybe not what? all of it, but some of it perhaps. Um, maybe it's inherited and on the outside they're trying to be different, but inside it might have some false beliefs and some of these might come up. What did you say after lack of love for self? Okay, fear of self-expression. Okay. Saying what you need to say and being yourself, loving who you are. Okay. Um, deep sense of frustration and anxiety. And then lack of discernment. I don't, you don't trust yourself. You know, like I'm not quite sure, so I won't speak up. I don't know if my opinion matters. Alright. And I noticed like uh, on your earlier, uh, when you were talking about rosemary, uh, you, a lot of your um, sentences referred to uh, a doctor, Sue somebody? Dr. Sue Lawton, yep. Yeah, yeah. Is that like from one of your books or? Yep, Dr. Sue Lawton has a book and it's um, actually on our website Ben can pull it up for you it's living healthily happily ever after when I first started in doTERRA I went to a couple of her seminars and I got a lot of notes from her and um, you know I, just, I still refer to it uh, so she's awesome she's not afraid to share um, her knowledge so she had about 40 years 40 or more now of experience using essential oils in the health care industry. Mm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And Dr. Heal, he has a lot of really fun recipes too. Um, yeah. Sometimes I'll use his recipes. But yeah, she's awesome. Um, that's another thing, like uh, for cooking, it, does the doTERRA site have, um, like I'm so new to oils, I'm still so timid. Um, I need to just get out there and start practicing, but I, I'm like, okay, like how many drops in a recipe? Like, I mean, so what if I ruin something, you know? It's yeah, not exactly. Easy. What's the worst that can happen? Yeah. But do they have like a site for uh, certain recipes or things like that? Uh, yeah, you have uh, your replicated website has recipes. Natera has a blog that's got recipes. Um, and if you go to aromatools.com, they have books and books of recipes for essential oils and oh. foods you can buy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, thank you. You're welcome. Mm -hmm. So here, this um, book right there has some yeah, that book has, has some a bunch recipes, of recipes and too. Essential Life. Mm -hmm. yep. So we have a, just a list of books on our website just to help people find it. Books that we're always recommending. Yeah. Always recommending. Yeah. You smelling the rosemary, Kayla? <laughs> yeah. That, that's the other thing. I'm like, uh, it's like it's never ending. I feel like I place an order of certain oils and then I start reading some more or looking at things. I'm like, Oh, oh I want to make that like, Oh, I don't have that one oil, you know? So it's constantly uh, adding yep. to the list. Yeah. You have to like collect them all. That's <laughs> yeah, you can slowly build up a collection. Yeah. But as you pointed out earlier, you know, often there's another oil that you can use. Um, like if you're trying to put a recipe together and you don't have all the oils, you can, sometimes you can just leave out that oil. Like, you know, when you do the aroma test technique and you don't have one of those oils, you just leave it out. Um, but sometimes you can find an oil that's similar to it and substitute mm -hmm. it. Yeah. While you're waiting for your order. <laughs> yeah. We, I think all of us um, run into that problem when we first start in doTERRA, hey? You get a few oils and then you're like, ah, uh, 
I don't have that one. I just made it. It's know. like an adult candy store. Yeah. You know? it's just, yeah. And it's like Christmas every time an order comes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Even after six years, it's like that. Yeah. <laughs> oh, great. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we have a set for the house. We have a set to take away with us. And yeah, each one of us have a set of our own. Yeah. Exactly, yeah. We're nuts. <laughs> Well, I did want to ask you if you have time, like, okay, so you're talking about, you know, so many ailments and, and how um, our um, um, emotions can manifest into our health and, and our spirit, but um, like the DDR, uh, which um, reaches to the cellular level, uh, is that something people should take every day or uh, with all of these illnesses? Uh, does that help in a broad sense? Yes, DDR is uh, one of those oils that uh, people can take every day. It, it gets down to the, the cellular level, like you said, but it helps us change because none of us are you know, amazing, perfect people yet. And we always have something to, to change. Yeah, and it's the oil of change to major transition. Mm. Yeah, protect your cells, DDR Prime. Guys, do you have any questions? It doesn't have to be on this topic either. No? Well, I guess what? we're done. Oh, anyone else? I have a question. <laughs> I always have questions. Uh, what about like bad disc uh, in the back of disc or uh, uh, herniated disc, things like that, where people are in so much pain, intense pain, and they're looking for lower tab and all this stuff, you know, and they can't get certain pain medications because doctors have cut back on uh, just freely giving that. Mm -hmm. uh, so what is a, a good uh, approach trying to help people that, that's still in the back right that's still the back yeah right and back is about them not backing themselves up not feeling safe like protected okay mm. uh, so we can use different oils like winter green to surrender and allow people to back you up allow yourself to be loved there's other there's so many different oils um there's, white fur um, I was going to say, um, that's one of the problems that Dr. Hill had, um, and that's where he, when he put together the Aroma Touch technique. Where are, are you familiar with the Aroma Touch technique? No. All right, it's, it's just uh, a, a touch massage, it's aromatherapy, where the person receiving the massage, um, you know, apply the essential oils to the back and to the feet. Um, and because he had that problem, and one of the, one of the things, with with his back you know he was this was one of the things that that treated him and interesting enough it has the deep blue has winter green in it mm -hmm. but it has you know eight different essential oils that you apply in different um time parts yeah. and um yeah roma touch would be great for somebody with um, some back concerns um the other thing about back is it's the uh, link to the tummy um so if they are uh, not pooping um often it can uh affect the back too so i'm gonna ask a few questions first um make sure that they are going to the bathroom and uh releasing things at least three times a day and uh yeah and talk about support self um supporting self allowing and receiving other people's support Sometimes you feel unworthy and you don't let other people um, support you. Well, I find it difficult sometimes because um, it seems like most of the uh, people that voice that they have a herniated disc or uh, something like that are males. And so it's not always easy to, at least for me, to have these conversations with them you know, as to whether they're allowing and receiving uh, 
help or support or um, that yeah. type of thing. Yeah, yeah that's, and, that, isn't it? and that's the first question you ask. You'll ask someone if they're open to like natural, natural stuff. Or, <laughs> yeah. Um, some people just aren't ready, and then you can just say, "Well, I have some ideas." Whenever you are ready, and when they run out of all their other options, then they'll remember that and they'll come to you. We've seen it over and over. Yeah, they're, they're sore, they complain, but they won't change. <laughs> They have a rash and they go to every doctor in the town and then when they're just fed up, they'll just say, well, I'm willing to try anything. You have to open the bottle. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Kayla's like, yeah, open it. I gave my friend a sample of something the other day and I said, hey, did, how did that work for you? And she goes, well, it was okay. I said, did you use it? She's like, a couple times. I said, you have to use it for it to work. <laughs> It's not going to help you if it stays in the bottle. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> yeah. So I have a question. DJ's getting ready for his wisdom teeth removal because he's getting ready to go or turn his papers for his mission. Anyway, so should I load him up on on guard a few days before, you know, just on guard every day to prepare for that? Is there anything else I can add to it? Um, you might want to do uh, extra clothes. So you can do oil pulling for a couple of days. Yeah. Because when you open it up, you know, all the bacteria around there, it's going to try and get in. And right. Yeah. Okay. Good idea. That's good. Transition. <laughs> yeah, that's one of the ones I was talking about. Yeah. You can see that DJ's leaving. The boys are both leaving for the summer to go work up at scout camp and we're planning a wedding and <laughs> a lot and of a stuff. A power tree, it's in a pear tree. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. Yeah, new grandbaby. Yes. Yay. Yay. <laughs> Anybody else have anything, any other questions they want to ask? Don't be shy. Before we wrap things up for tonight. I was just going to ask. Yes, Tara. Oh, sorry. I was just going to ask if you have any information, what we would say about low blood pressure, like really, really low blood pressure. Okay. So um, I have some ideas, but maybe Debbie, do you have any ideas? I would do something, uh, use some oils that are stimulating. Mm -hmm. so they have very low, low blood pressure, even like motivate. Um, lots of peppermint, uh, spearmint, those oils will be good. But again, it, it's it's balancing. Um, it's, I feel like it's about circulation for them. They 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 have a concern about moving faster. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> that makes sense. Great. Thank you. I would I would recommend the Ylang Ylang for sure, but also the the cypress would be a good choice. Yeah, yeah, Ylang Ylang is good. Uh, you know, allowing yourself to feel joy as you move forward. Um, yeah, and I love the motivate idea, Jade. That's a fabulous idea. Modern Essentials book says lemon and lime. Yep, lemon it will lime. will re regulate pressure, either rise it or lower it as necessary. Yep. Lime is about zest, arriba, you know, <laughs> excitement, move forward. <laughs> yeah, that's good. It's another good one to add to your salsa. <laughs> Keep thinking about food. <laughs> uh, I just, I actually just had a question. Um, so I've had a, like a pretty bad sore throat the last few days and I've been trying to do on guard, but what else do you recommend? Okay, have you tried lavender outside? Um, I, I tried a little bit of lavender on the outside and I was trying melaleuca and a few other things, but I, got, I don't know what's the best because I'm still pretty new to this. Do you have, do you have um, mucus? Yeah. Yeah. Um, so lemon and lime. Lemon helps with the, the new mucus and lime helps with old stubborn mucus. You can swish and drink and swallow. Oh, okay. Now, yeah, I've got lemon, but not lime, so I'll try that. 
Some, sometimes uh, I'll teach a man class for, for, for men. They use essential oils a little bit differently. And mm -hmm. some of them um, told me for a sore throat, they gargle oregano, <laughs> which is a very spicy oil. Another one you I could try. Died. I died. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And he, he would tell our kids to do it. No, 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 no. Oh, grow hair on your chest. I'm like, that's not one way to motivate the money. <laughs> <laughs> or, or clove is a very good one for um, mouth or yeah. throat things. Cloves of mouth or throat um, essential oil. So um, there's some ideas if you get desperate, you can gargle <laughs> oregano. I like the way it burns. <laughs> and it does no help. It is effective, but it burns. And the burn of the oregano is better than the sore throat, in my opinion. But <laughs> yeah, oregano is a really good one. You know the on guard. Uh, uh, plus pills yeah. um it's just on guard with a bit of oregano in there um but that's another thing you can try um fight it from the inside out and okay. you want to um every essential your body metabolizes essential oils it takes about four to six hours um uh, and it'll be all gone from your system depending on on, on your on your size and weight and everything now, um, so you want to, if, if you're trying to fight an infection or something, you just got to get those um, barriers up. So you want to renew that every four hours or so. So if you're oh, okay. trying to get rid of something in there, um, that's one thing to bear in mind. You got to repeat it and don't leave a gap so it can, you know. Keep fighting. Keep fighting. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Do, you have, do you have rosemary? Um, I don't have rosemary. Um, right now, I basically just have the family essentials kit plus okay. like cardamom and cinnamon. Okay. So I'm, I'm still working on building yeah. it. <laughs> and use what you have. Use what you have. Just experiment and just keep rubbing it on. It will do the job. Um, Cinnamon's another one to give you a burn. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's all about that. I like <laughs> when you can feel it. <laughs> Did the lavender help at all? Did it help you at all? Um, it it made it a little bit less painful. I um, I rubbed some on my throat and then I put just like a drop or two on my tongue and, and that seemed to help. When we only had lavender and we didn't have a lot of other ones, um, it helped but it didn't last long. So we put coconut oil to make it last even longer. Because <laughs> oh, okay. that's what we had. It's on the surface. And yeah. If you put it in a water bottle and um, whatever oils you have, so you have your lemon, you have um, lavender, and on mm -hmm. guard, you put it in your water bottle and sip it. So you've got the oils all the time in your throat. Louise Hay, she says that, you know, problems with your throat sometimes is about you finding your voice. Mm -hmm. That's right. What about somebody that says uh, they always have the like three o'clock in the afternoon lull, lack of ener energy. So do you recommend an oil as an elevate or how do you know to go to the <coughs> Mito X? Mito 2 X? Yeah, for energy. I mean, I don't know how to make that call. They did say peppermint doesn't do a lot for them as far as energy or... Um, if they have a three o'clock lull, it seems like they need to cleanse and detox. Yeah, I would say there's probably something wrong with their diet. Mm -hmm. um, and we, it's sort of like an adrenal concern too. A lot of people, um, fatigue can be caused by lots of lots of things, and it's hard to know what to yeah. try. Yeah, gonna ask a few more questions. Sometimes fatigue, and for most people it comes from bacteria in their gut and sucking all their energy and so if they can get rid of the bacteria they do a cleanse and they can do a 30-day cleanse and restore program um gx assist is the um the operative mm -hmm. thing in that in that cleanse program when it comes to cleaning up bad bacteria from the gut sometimes that bacteria it's just zapping your energy they're absorbing all the nutrients, and um, you know, Jade was saying that you know your your gut actually has a lot of and uh, neurotransmitters, so it's like it's going to give you brain fog as well. 
So mm -hmm. doing a proper cleanse, um, you know, once or you might need to do it a couple of times that will yeah. definitely clear up your mind and, and give you more energy. Mm -hmm. The other ones, Myo2 Max and everything, that works on a cellular level. It activates the mitochondria. So I find that that's, that's a real big one to um, help boost your energy. Yeah, if it's once in a while, that's, that's mm -hmm. what you, you can, <clears throat> excuse me, you can do a lot of symptom management, but if it's all the time, a person's been um, you know, tired like that for a long time, um, yeah, you want to do a good cleanse. Because it's, yeah. a, it's a more permanent solution than just um, symptom management. Okay, great. Thanks. Thank you, you right. guys, We're for going joining to us go tonight. Ahead and close it up tonight, unless anybody has any burning questions. We really absolutely have to hand yeah. out. Um, thank you, everybody, for joining us tonight. Um, we actually, with all your questions, I think that was a great uh, addition to mm -hmm. the literal language of the body topic. Um, you know, you can see how things are interrelated and, and a lot of things come from emotional roots. And yeah, so thank you everybody for coming out tonight. Uh, for those of you that are listening to this on a podcast, thank you for listening in and being with us. If you have any questions or comments or anything you'd like to add, please feel free to go to the, um, the website and you can put your comments in there. And for those of you who are joining us on YouTube, um, subscribe and you can get more of this content coming your way and thank you everybody for being here and sharing us with us your experiences and and joining in the discussion um, yeah, thank you very right. much we'll stop the recording here